guys, I'm Linda. And I'm Vicki. And we are Partners, Partners in Crime. In crime. Today we're going to dive into the Mark and Lori hacking case. We did find, at least I found out about this from our cold episode. They did refer to this and Josh talking about this particular case and actually certain people in our cold episodes like Detective Maxwell was a part of this investigation. Dave Colley also was investigating as um, a reporter. So we're going to go into this and tell you basically what happened there and it's crazy how this kind of intersects with Susan and Josh Powell. Right and this occurred in 2004 when Lori's husband shot her. Mm -hmm. She was asleep and he shot her in her sleep. Um, they were married for five years and together for ten years before this occurred. Um, a little bit about their backstory is um, that Mark's father was a pediatrician, his mother was a nurse, his his siblings were successful mm -hmm. um, and it's important to know that because it helps you understand Mark's motive for mm -hmm. what he was doing. Um, they were planning on moving Lori and, and Mark mm -hmm. were planning on moving to uh, Chapel Hill, North Carolina where he was supposedly enrolled in medical school. Yeah, he said he was accepted. Um, and the family was concerned that she would be the only one working. She's pregnant and, you know. Newly pregnant, I believe they said five weeks. I don't know, yeah, I guess yeah. so. I did see an interview with her mother on Oprah. And it was so crazy. Just side note, watching this story on Oprah in 2004, it's just amazing how young I mean, Oprah's, I think she's pretty. And she just looked very, you know, it's just yeah. amazing to see how young she did look at that point. Yeah, you know, I guess we all looked younger at that yeah, point. We did. <laughs> looked a lot younger in 2004. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it, the story really started on July 19th. In 2004, when Mark called 911 saying that his wife had disappeared, mm -hmm. he said that she went jogging and she was always a jogger. Mm -hmm. She went jogging and she didn't return. She was yeah. supposed to go jogging and go right to work. Mm -hmm. And apparently he checked at work, he checked with her colleagues, he checked with her friends, and she was missing. Mm -hmm. So... Um, they did start a search, uh, a national search ensued, uh, and they found her car at the entrance of this park where she was supposedly running. Running. Okay. And at that point, they were investigating for an abduction. However, there were a lot of circumstantial clues that uh, the lead detective, and I don't know his name. Yeah, I'll look for that. Dwayne, uh, Dwayne Baird, I uh, believe. Okay. Yeah. And, um, you know, the, the clues were that, you know, the bathtub was squeaky clean uh, with bleach. Mm. And a new mattress had been purchased. Uh, they found her rings and her jewelry box. Uh, the sheets were also brand new. Mm -hmm. um, so they began to suspect Mark. I did see, too, when they found her vehicle. She was pretty short. Mark was oh, tall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the car, the seat was adjusted for someone as tall as Mark. Right. She, not for Lori. Yeah, she wouldn't have been shorter. able to reach the pedals. pedals. Right. Yeah. I remember reading that. And um, then they delved in a little further and found out Mark had lied. Mm -hmm. He lied about going to graduate school or medical school. Mm -hmm. And he also lied about graduating from 
college for his undergrad degree. He never did either. Mm -hmm. So that was his motive. That was definitely his motive because well, the night before, they did. Uh, they do say that Lori found out. Oh yeah. That he lied about yeah. this. Right. And she was. Uh, she did give him a handwritten letter. Mm hmm. And she told him she couldn't stay with him anymore because of the lies. And you know, you would think that people would say, "Okay, I screwed up. Let's just call it a day and get divorced." But nope, he took it a little bit. Not a little bit, way too far. Right. I'm sure he was very ashamed because of his mm -hmm. professional family. Yeah. And he disposed of her body in a dumpster. And the police did later find some remains in the Salt Lake City landfill. They spent a long time searching this landfill. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, they did find bones and were able to identify her by that he did when he was and i don't have the timing but he did wind up i don't know if they were coming to get him or what but he got naked and started running around a parking lot so i guess he figured that he could use the insanity defense they did find that curious because most people that would do that he had his shoes on or his sandals on they wouldn't do that. So, you know, people think they're smarter than the police. And they've seen it all. Yeah. So, yeah, that was a big flat red flag to them right. that right. you can run around naked all you want. But if you're protecting your feet, you probably are not as insane as you're trying to right. make and yourself. Right, and he was trying to, to make an insanity case for himself mm -hmm. so it would lessen the impact of whatever was going to be found for him you know he, maybe he wouldn't go to prison for as long or maybe he, he wouldn't get a death penalty but he knew what he was doing mm -hmm. at that point yeah and to just throw her away in a landfill in a, in a dumpster actually is what he did he put mm -hmm. her in a dumpster yes and it wound up in, in the, the landfill, landfill. Yeah. so they did say that on October 29th of 2004, Mark did plead not guilty to first degree murder, um, despite pleas from Lori's brother to save your family the grief and cost and plead guilty to murder. So um, I guess on April 15th of 2005, about six months later, he did plead guilty in exchange for prosecutors dropping other charges. Well, it's a shame. I mean, they were together for a total of 15 years. Mm-hmm. Do you ever really know anybody? Yeah. 15 years, and this is what he does. Right. Now, i got to think, maybe he wasn't insane, but people who do this are sick. Right. He had to be sick, but he just didn't meet the legal definition of an insanity case because you you have to know the difference between right and wrong right and wrong yeah the fact that he threw away like he did in a dumpster and he cleaned everything oh yeah yeah, yeah. so that I mean, just shows he knew that you wrong. you're of sound mind right what right. is sad though is to is to think that this person would rather get rid of their spouse than to admit that they aren't as good as their family um he could have been brilliant at other things but because he didn't fit that family norm and i'm not saying that his family put pressure on him he could have put this pressure on himself why does anyone feel that they can't be good enough with what with what, what they doing. can do with right. what their god gives them and to take away a beautiful she's a very beautiful girl and to take away your child's life as well it's it's yeah it's just something that we can't understand no well, i'm speaking for you you can't understand it either no. <laughs> i wouldn't be sitting next to you if you could <laughs> yeah i really uh, <laughs> can but, but yeah it's just um yeah horrible situations and mm -hmm. we keep reading about these husbands 
that are doing away with their spouses. It's That's just, what we said before. And, but I, I, at least, at least, the only good thing about this is that they found her. Yeah. They and did, he did find her. plead guilty, thank God. Eventually, right. And you would, yeah, you would hope that, God forbid, something does happen to someone's spouse and that sp the other spouse is not responsible. You would hope that they, I know it's hard because I'm not in the middle of it, but you would hope that they would just do what they need to do to help the investigation, not take it personally, understand that most of the time when these things happen, yes, it is their spouse that does this. There was no spousal abuse, no, nothing like that in their history that we can see. So basically it was just Mark feeling not just not feeling that he was yeah that, like you said good enough, good enough right and right. he didn't want anyone to know that so he his wife found out and he just she paid the price yeah for his so sad for what he thought were failures yeah so but shame. like I said we did this because of the cold podcast I did you know anything about this it, it started to ring a bell I, okay. didn't, I didn't remember all the details but I I did kind of remember a little bit about it and, and she did work in the same Wells Fargo investments that um, Susan Powell did too before right. that yeah Susan didn't know her no but her her uh, co-workers some of them did know her yeah. as well yeah it was a big thing out there and these these fa this family was also LDS, too, so it was in the same general vicinity. I guess all of Utah might have more Mormons than any. Absolutely, they do. But um, the huge population. this was very local to the Susan Powell case mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And Josh refers to it, too, which is right. crazy. Yeah, yeah. So, so it was well-known. Mm -hmm. Well-known in the area. Yeah. I didn't get to see the Oprah interview yeah i'll try to put some of it it was with her mom in charge with Lori's murder after confessing to his brothers that he did indeed kill her Lori's body still has not been found thelma sorari's laura hacking's mother is here and she has not talked publicly since her son-in-law confessed to killing her only daughter and it has only been eight weeks since thelma's daughter Lori was first reported missing eight weeks so i I appreciate you being her mother. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and it was soon after that. Um, I don't know if it was soon after they. It was 2004, so it would have been soon after she was missing. Yeah, because that's um, when it all and I occurred. think her Mark was in jail at that point, mm. so um, her mom did confront Mark. Mm. So. Awful. Yeah, and they did take the name hacking off of Lori's tombstone. They did? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 She said, we, the mother said, we just felt that Mark obviously didn't want her anymore. And that's why she um, took it out. They also have a word, Phil, Phil Hinha. I don't know how to say that. And it translates to little daughter. So that is on her tombstone. Oh. Because well, I kept watching the video and it, it said that word. And I'm like, what is that word? It is Portuguese uh, for little daughter. Oh. Uh, yeah. So. Uh, um, yeah. So just another crazy, another crazy, crazy story. Yeah. Really. Uh, let us know what you want to see. Because there's plenty out there to look into. And we just kind of fell on fell on top of this one um, researching the cold, the cold episode yep. so there are plenty of stories out there that we don't know of and if you have something that you want us to bring to our viewers we'd be more than happy to that absolutely and to do that and even if it isn't in the US we have a lot of international viewers which we really appreciate mm -hmm. let us know what we want what you would like us to see from your area as right well. right yeah, we would love to hear from you. Mm -hmm. So feel free. Yeah. Just send it to us and we'll look into it. Yep, definitely. And if you have any ideas how we can make this channel better, let us know that as well. Okay. So we do read your comments. And as you can see, we are starting to do things um, based on our viewer comments. So 
Really yep, appreciate we are. appreciate it. Yep. So I guess thumbs up, subscribe, and bell button, please. Please do. Yep. And until next time. Okay. Bye. Bye.